What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Griselda and I'm going to be talking about my February favorites. Um, these are my favorite videos to watch. This time around I only have beauty favorites but um, if you're interested in seeing more lifestyle favorites let me know and I can include those. Um, and most of these beauty favorites are drugstore. I think I have like two um, non-drugstore but most of it is pretty cheap. And let me know what kind of video you want to watch next. I can either do a haul, I've been doing some shopping, or I don't know, do you want to see another secret video? What do you want to see next? I am really, really, really trying to upload a new video every week. Hopefully I stay consistent and then I will be traveling at the end of this month. I'm going to be going to Japan. So I really hope to be making some travel videos for you. I'm really excited to go. I've been dreaming of going to Japan and I'm going to go see my childhood friends. So I'm really, really excited. Okay, let's get started. So first I want to talk about the Bye Bye Foundation by It Cosmetics. I did do a review video and I don't know if I'm going to put that up first or this video. But I am filming it the same day, so you'll see that I'm wearing the same shirt or same sweater. Um, so anyway, if you want to hear more about this, uh, I'll, I'll link that video because I go into detail about it. But definitely one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites that I also mentioned in that video, um, that, that review, is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Powder. I don't even know what kind of, what this is really called. It says Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. So I will say it is pretty powdery, like as soon as you put your brush in here, it like goes everywhere. But it really looks so good on your face. It look it looks like, hmm, how do I explain? It like, it's really powdery, but once it just sets on your skin, it, it kind of ends up looking like a foundation. And it is really full coverage, I would say so. Um, if it does start looking a little powdery, just set it with some spray, but I usually don't have to. And because I do have oily skin, if there is a little powdery residue, it helps absorb the oil that comes through my skin throughout the day. So I really like this and it's only like a dollar or three dollars at Target. Next is this Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I'm sure you guys have all heard about this and maybe you already have it. I barely got it like a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago. And it's awesome. It smells like, it smells like a vacation, kind of like a... Uh, this probably sounds bad, but the lotion, tanning lotion you put on, but not in a bad way. It smells good. Uh, make sure when you pick this up, if you are going to get it, um, that you look at the colors because there's different shades. I first got the, I think it was like light bronzer and I couldn't even see it on my skin at all. It didn't even give me a sheen, didn't give me nothing. So I ended up returning it or exchanging it for the bronzer. And this is not really for contouring, it's more for just giving you that sun-kissed look on your skin. I did put it over, but I do have a contour on, so I usually wear this on a daily basis. I don't really contour unless... which is annoying. Okay, let me explain. What is annoying to me is... and okay, let me, let me back up. So I used to make videos back in the day, and some of you know that, and the people that have been reaching out to me and saying, I'm glad you're back, you know, all those nice comments, I really, really appreciate that. Because for a long time, I was trying to decide if I should make videos or not anymore again. Um, I decided to because the people that have been watching, and I watch YouTube videos, I've been watching YouTube videos, like on a daily basis, I watch them. Um, mo mainly beauty videos. I just feel like the girls that are out there making videos are not relatable. And I don't know if I'm the only one feeling like this, but I don't think, I don't feel like I can relate to those girls anymore. Why? Because they wear a hell of makeup and I don't. Um, they live this like lavish lifestyle that I, I don't have. So I just feel like I can't relate to them anymore. And they're buying like all this expensive makeup that I can't afford. Um, so yeah, it just kind of made me, I don't know, like I, I couldn't make videos like that anymore because I couldn't afford that. So I think that's kind of one of the reasons why I stopped making videos. But one of the reasons why I started making videos again is because I want to make videos for the people like me that can't relate to those girls. Or guys. There's a lot of guys making videos now too, which is pretty cool. But I still can't relate to them. So I'm again making these videos, not because I consider myself like a beauty expert, but because I feel like people can relate to me. Um, I have a pretty normal life and I like normal things and um, hopefully someone out there can relate to me and we can be friends. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? So if you don't, maybe I'm just crazy, but I just been feeling like that and I thought I should explain. Um, but anyway, I don't even know what I was saying about this butter bronzer. You should get it. 
Okay, this is the best eyeliner, ink eyeliner in the world. If you haven't tried this already, what are you doing, girl? Go get it. This is a Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner. It looks like this. It has like this like paintbrush kind of pen tip. I don't know. It's just so good for getting right up in there, like making that really sharp line. This is... I've tried other eyeliners and I've always gone back to this for a couple of different reasons. This lasts all day. Sometimes I get watery eyes and it ends up like, you know, taking away the tail especially. This stays on all day even with my watery eyes. It's really easy because of the sharp little tip to get into the inside of the eye and just like you like roll it onto your eye and it just makes this perfect straight line. It's just awesome. Um, and it's like less than 10 bucks. I get mine at Rite Aid. Um, and sometimes Rite Aid is out of it. They only have a couple usually in stock. So I have purchased it from Amazon before. So I'll link it down below. Um, but if you haven't tried this, please do. You're going to love it. Okay, I don't know why, but I have barely, like, two months ago, no, it was like the holidays, barely tried ColourPop Cosmetics. Like, why? I don't know. But they're awesome. Um, so I'm going to talk about three different products that I really like from ColourPop. First one is their, um, what is this? concealer i was having a brain for it the concealer i use the shade medium and uh it's really great i think it's like i don't know six dollars so you should get this if you haven't tried it or if you're looking for a good concealer it is really full coverage and easy to blend i don't have any problems with it like creasing in my eye area really good I've always been interested in trying one of the like dip brows from Anastasia or anything like that but I didn't want to pay whatever it costs like what 20 bucks I don't even know um so I ended up trying this this is the first product like this that I've tried this is uh oh gosh it says brow color on here but it's their gel brow stuff I don't know I have it in the shade Bangin Brunette and this is awesome it's so pigmented you do have to use kind of a light hand, like today I kind of want ham and my eyebrows are a little darker than I usually go for, but whatever. Um, so if you're thinking about trying that method, try this because it's only like, I don't know, six bucks too. I'll put the prices and link the, the products down below. I can't remember the products, I bought this a while ago. Um, but anyway, this is good. If you're thinking about trying that kind of product or if you're trying the Anastasia and you want to try something cheaper, I'd say go for this. I think it does the same thing. Okay, and they're super shock shadows. Oh my god. I don't know seriously why I haven't tried this before. I've been hearing everybody talk about them. I just never purchased. Um, this is a shade Prickly Pear. Yes. So it looks like that. I'm wearing it on my lids right now. Hopefully you can see. It's a it's a really pretty kind of like mauve rose gold color with glitter in it. Um, I, I'd say you can wear this every day, but it does have glitter in it, so it is pretty noticeable. But man, these these are so good. I just put them on with my finger and it looks great. The texture, if you haven't tried it already, it's like bouncy. It's really good, but um, it's easy to put on. And they're really, really pigmented here. I'll even swatch it, actually. So there's just like one, you know, one swatch. Look how pretty that is. <sighs> Okay, I have three high-end products. Um, I've been using this for months. It is the best foundation I've ever used. The YSL All Hours Foundation it has SPF 20, 24-hour wear, blah, 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 full coverage, oil-free. It's good. I use the shade, um, I think it's Warm Bisque. It's just so good. And it has this, like, expensive smell. It's just, if you haven't tried it already, it is expensive, but I do recommend it. Okay, my girl Rihanna came up with a makeup line. You probably already knew that. But, I don't know if you paid attention or not, she came out with a lipstick called Griselda. Whenever I introduce myself to somebody, I have to say my name like three different times and I have to spell it sometimes and it's just this, or this whole ordeal. Um, but Rihanna obviously knew what my name was. Well, not my name personally, but she knew of my name, which makes me so happy and the color is just beautiful. And the funny thing is, this is totally my color. Like, wow. Uh, on my lips right now, I am wearing, what is this? single um so i did pick up two of them this, these are only two i have um but both of these are really great they do last actually a pretty long time they feel really really comfortable on the lips and they just are so beautiful okay that's it <laughs> hopefully you found this entertaining or helpful in any way um i'm excited to be back i really am i'm a little bit hesitant like i said just because the uh, 
the community, the YouTube community has changed so much and I don't know if I fit in anymore um, because of what I mentioned earlier. I just don't feel like the people that are out there, or maybe I'm just watching the wrong people. That, that That's probably it, but I don't know. Um, anyway, okay, please like this video because that tells me you're watching it and that tells me you're still out there and leave a comment down below. I do respond to every single one and follow me on Instagram because that is where I post um, almost on a daily basis. I don't post every single day because I don't want to be that annoying girl, but I do post pretty often and I love to follow you back. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.